Welcome, brother. All right, let's um, put on some bit of armor in there. Uh, where's my hole? Where well, there it is? Wait, no, that, that. Um, that worked out. Good. <laughs> All right. Covering, all right. But there's nobody here. Miss, there they are. It's also quite realistic because those um, ladder carriers never really had any armor. These were just like some poor lads without any protection carrying the ladders. I don't want to be the only one, guys. Holy shit. Ah, but I'm the first, all right? Oh shit, wrong button. <laughs> oh fuck. Mm. Get the... Damn, yeah, there you go. Mm. There you go. <laughs> that was perfect. Come on. Are you dead? He's dead, alright. There's no people over there. I got you. Cool, mm. Yes. Mm. I'm kind of stuck here. All right. Holy shit, there's a lot, a lot of dead people around here. Where are they going now? This way? Clear those battle bots. Get out of my way, buddy. There's more of them. There's no space here. Seriously? All right. <laughs> Come on. Got one of them. Really good. He's down. Good shit. Where is he? Mm. I don't really see much here. Uh -huh. Fuck. Mm. Gonna get you now, bitch. Fuck. Alright, we need to be careful, otherwise all of our guys are gonna die here. Oh yes, the hat tracker. some space. There you go. I got the space so I can wield my axe as I please and those fuckers die royally. Are you attacking me? Thanks, sir. Bernard. Oh, Captain Robot. Yeah, another one. Yep, there was another one. Damn it, we want more people around here, I think. Ah, 
I'm in a private area. Oh. <sighs> Shit. That didn't work out as planned. Ah. Oh. Use the ladder? Is somebody up there? There might be. But there isn't. All right. There's nobody in here. Some dead people only. I think I'm not supposed to be here yet. Yeah, I think I have to... Um, actually... Defense went up? Defense went up. I actually have to... Crawl my way up this tower, because... Well, they're probably up the tower. Oh. Nice. Axe. I had this one for a while, I forgot about this. Perk. Holy shit, they did some damage here. Already. <clears throat> Basically, they did everything without us. Perfect. Well, it's not like in other games where the complete army or the army is completely useless without the main protagonist. They would have won also without us. They would, in general, won also the main battles also without us. But it's the little things. Little, quote unquote, where Henry was helping to make the decisive difference. Sir, we should give the order. Let's see if Istvan Toth can worm his way out of this one. Don't tempt fate, Hamish. Istvan! It's over! You want us to come and get you? I wouldn't advise that. Your friend Divish wants to see his wife alive again. And Sir Radzik? Are both hostages unharmed? For now, Hanush, unless circumstances change. Well, I'm glad to hear it. My guest is also safe and sound, but he's also quite keen to go home. I imagine you feel the same way. It's been a long time since you warmed yourself at your own hearth. I'm in no hurry. I've plenty of supplies here. Grand view and excellent company. What more could I want? Your freedom! Freedom? Freedom to get an arrow in the back? Sir, you're all noblemen here. All bound by honour. I give you my word as a knight and lord. And that of my companions. If you release Lady Stephanie, and Sir Redzig, you may leave the castle with your men and go on your way unharmed. And just how far will we get? What good will it do me if your men attack us in the woods instead of here? If you give me your word of honour that you will leave and never return, I promise you safe passage to the boundary of this fiefdom. What happens after that is up to you, and the will of God Almighty. Very well then, but I want a small safeguard. I'll give you her ladyship, but Radzig comes with me. I'll release him in scullets. Out of the question! Is our word not good enough for you? Is mine not good enough for you? I swear I'll release him when I get to a safe distance. I'll go with him, Hanush. Let the Lady Stephanie have her freedom now. Father! Don't worry, son. I trust Lord Toth's self-interest more than his word. He wouldn't be fool enough to harm me. If you're certain, Radzig. Prepare horses and supplies and tell your men to pull back. We'll come down. You heard him. Get to work. And any man who breaks his truce answers to me. So are you really going to let them go? My word is my bond, Henry. He's a cutthroat and a liar. Good men are dead because of him. 
What's to stop us from skewering him as soon as he sets foot outside? Our honor! If you let him go, he'll do the same again. Or worse, God's justice will find him. And then, he'll get a taste of my mace. If we break our word of honor, we have none. And without honor, we are nothing. Never fear. Your father will be all right. We'll hunt down those vermin yet. I am really surprised how many and how long those cutscenes are in this game. I mean, there weren't like there were some some here and there, but damn. Stephanie. Forgive me, husband. I'm sorry. For what? For letting them into the castle. Oh, come now, my dear. You're not to blame. She's not sorry for boning Henry. No. I hope your word can be trusted. Certainly more than yours. If everything goes as agreed, I'll set Radzig free in Scalitz. If anyone tries to follow us, I'll kill him. We won't. My apologies for keeping you from your father, but you'll see each other soon enough. Oh. I almost forgot. Your sword. I expect you'll want it back after all the trouble you went to. Actually, you know what? I think I'll keep it. As a memento. This isn't over. I'll find you. I look forward to it. Yeah! Quick! To the battlements. We have to see which way they go. Oh, they really are heading for Scalitz. Mount up, Henry. You've heard what he'll do if we follow them. We're not going to follow them. We just have to collect your father. Or do you want him to walk back here when they release him? Well, it appears that. Hans Capon is actually becoming a, an actual nobleman, sort of, with thinking and not just drinking. It's weird. <laughs> Come on. Uh, what do you think? Will Toth keep his word? He's a noble, yeah. right? Yeah, right. What should I say to him? Don't worry, it'll come to you. You'll see. Well, I just hope he'll be there. Alive. What will you do now? Not long ago, I only made plans three days ahead at most. <laughs> Maybe I really could do something for Rathay and his people. Something really big. But there'll be plenty of time for that later. I can see how it looks. Quite a turnaround, isn't it? What do you mean? How long have Damn we it. known each other? A few weeks? Something like that. Before that, I was chasing wenches around Rate and you were digging turnips. And now look at us. A pair of veterans. Uh, I was an apprentice blacksmith, not a turnip digger. Same difference, you silly bugger. That's what I wanted to look at. Here, how do we look riding side by side? <laughs> Two veterans. Our horse is way too fast. The way you found Toth, sneaking into Brannick all on your own. Well, what I mean is, hats off to you, Hal. You wouldn't catch me doing that. Truth is, I didn't think much about it. I just felt I had to do it. Okay. 
Well, we're oh, we're going all the way to Skellet, so we still haven't reached Rovna. So unless and Skipon is going to say something else, we're gonna jump ahead. Oh. <laughs> well, the game jumps ahead on its own. There's no sign of them. Move on. Glad to see Ishban kept his word, sir. Not half as glad as I am, Your Grace. Well, we kept our word too. And now Toth has had his head start and he's fair game. Which way do they go? To the north, but I would be careful, Sir Hans. Fear not, Your Grace. I have twice as many men as he. <laughs> well, I won't keep you any longer. I'm sure the two of you have a lot to say to each other. Let's go! All right, Father. I am. They treated me quite decently. Although they did steal my horse, I'll have to go back on foot. It looks like it's all over. Not by a long shot. It won't be over until we get this mess cleared up. We catch that bastard. How could we let him go? Would you rather we killed him? Even if it meant Lady Stephanie and I died too? Yes. Of course not. But what was to stop us from killing him after the exchange? Honor? Honor? If the word of honor of a nobleman could not be trusted, then he would never have agreed to the exchange. But where's the honor in abandoning your son? Hmm. You know how it is. We were young. It happened. And I couldn't marry a commoner. Then your father, I mean Martin, came along and took care of both of you. Well, he knew it. What? That I was your father? Certainly. He was a great man. He took you as his own. And I always kept an eye on you. Of that you can be sure. I know so little about his past. He told you nothing. Oddly enough, even though you don't have his blood, you're very like him. When he was around your age, he became bored of his trade and set out to see the world. He lived through many adventures, even fought in a war. In a war? Yes, in Poland, I believe. And I don't think he cared much for it. That's why he wanted me to stay at home. He spent some time in Prague, then settled in Kuttenberg. But it seems he quarreled with someone there and finally ended up here. You know the rest. I loved him, but even so, uh, I somehow always had a feeling I didn't quite fit in. It was in your blood, I suppose. In your bastard blood. You bastard. I lost the one thing I had left from him. Your sword. Ah, the sword. It's not my sword. It's yours. For a moment there, it was so near, yet so far. Oh, well, it can't be helped. It was almost within my grasp, but just then I had something else on my mind. Well, I think we may yet have a chance to get it back. This business with Toth is not yet over. Unfortunately. Well, that's a chance I'd welcome. Not just to get the sword, but that bastard Istvan too. And then I'll find that German whore son who torched Scalitz, and I'll slay him with it. I'll never forget his face. Or his name. Mark Wart von Aulitz. Those are noble intentions, son. But don't forget there are other things in this world that are worth living for. Like what? Look around you. 
Blue skies overhead, green grass underfoot, beautiful girls. Good wine, a few good friends, and a fine steed under your backside. Those are things worth living for. Though I can't deny that swine who killed your mother must pay for what he did. But it's better not to dwell too much on that at the cost of those other things. On the subject of steeds, I think we'll have to ride like the Knights Templar. How's that? Two up. One day I'll tell you how they got their seal. You can take the front. All right, is the game now it's over like or not? <laughs> teaching my boy to ride. I'm really Although it would be confused. A little smaller. My word, it's all go today, isn't it? I wonder who this is. I think I know. It's Margrave Jobst. The king's cousin. I wonder what he wants. I guess we'll find out soon enough. All right. So there's a lot of... Okay. I'm confused. <laughs> I have to say, guys, I'm confused. Is the game over now? <laughs> Apparently so. Um, or is there another part of the story coming up later? I, 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 I'm, I'm confused. I'm confused. About this abrupt ending right now. Seriously, I mean, more or less abrupt. Well, we had three major battles. Yes, that's also fine. One in Ribislavitz, the one in Vranik, and now in Tarnbach. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, I was wondering, like, the game was just kept on. Kept on going, kept on going, kept on going. And, uh, well, that one main quest, apparently. It was just a ruse to find Markward. Markward. From what's his face again? It was just a ruse to, f to find him, that this was a quest. It was nothing. <laughs> And in the end, it's just like... That's it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> a lot of historical researchers, eh? Blacksmithing, clothing, furnishing, weapons and armor, archery. And the Bible. All right, guys, it's been one heck of a ride. Seriously, I have played more than 110 hours in this game. And uh, seriously, it's a massive game. I'm also pretty sure that I've done pretty much everything in the game. And um, I think um, if you, if I were to replay the game for a second playthrough, I think all the additional possibilities are kind of limited uh, because, well, there are some differences what I could have made um, in the outcome of the quest or so. Sure, but not in every quest, that's one. And two, um, well, if it comes to the role-playing element in the sense of um, perks, well, there isn't really that much of a difference that you can do with um, Henry because, well, we basically leveled up in every regard. Every perk got leveled up. Now, the thing is, you can't really, or there isn't really much of a difference if it comes to leveling up Henry and role-playing in a new playthrough, but there is a big difference in, well, how, to, how you role-play as Henry, all right? I played more or less all over the place, 
but I tried to be a bit of an honorable dude, but then again, um, overall I was... No, real animals were harmed during the development of this game. In loving memories of Yannick, the war horse dog, yes. Um, what was I saying? Right, but the thing is, Henry, you can play as Henry, you know, the guy who is not stealing at all. A guy who is, who doesn't like killing, who is almost not killing at all. A guy who is almost exclusively using his bow and arrow and only if he has to uses um, his, his sword, but he also wears light armor all the time. You know? Something like this, or he's more like a, a sneaky guy, and um, but still doesn't really steal that much or things like that, you know. Um, somebody who cannot persuade people like we did, we were very persuasive, but you can also role play um, somebody who is not that not that much of a silver tongue, but but yeah, this is more like things that you have to decide for yourself how you want to play it and not in the game design itself, you know, in other game plays or in other games where you have a role-playing game with multiple playthroughs, you have like, all right, once you go as an archer, once you go as a mage, once you go as a heavy tank, once you go as a um, lightweight rogue or something. In general, it's things like that. Uh, in this game, it's completely different. Um, but then again, I played at least 110. I will have to look at how much, how many hours it's been in overall. Maybe 120, somewhere between 110 and 120 hours that I've played in this game. And I tell you guys, even if I never touch this game again, it was totally fucking worth it. And I will remember this game as one of these gems that that I would just know for the next I don't know how many years. How many decades this fucking game is fucking awesome you didn't want me fighting now look at me standing up to evil isn't the same as sowing its seeds you did what was right <laughs>